But have you seen that church? Have you seen Squan of, of recent? It seems like they are even waxing stronger. <laughs> have you seen the wife of late Prophet TV Joshua? She's, she's waxing stronger. You will do a video, she will respond, and then you would react to the video, and you're going back and forth. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bisola, you're bigger than that. You're bigger than that. I, I seriously think you're bigger than that. I seriously think that your purpose, your life purpose is bigger than exposing Synagogue Church of Foundation. So I'm only saying this from the things I heard on the BBC documentary and then from Bisola's videos, you know, because Bisola has a channel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out her channel. It's Bisola Hefziba. So she's been exposing Prophet T.B. Joshua. So I am saying this from the things I have heard, your videos and I've seen. And I think that at this point, you have done enough. I want to believe that God cannot call you and all you do is talk about Prophet T.B. Joshua. For God's sake, the man is dead and gone. The man is dead and gone. This video I'm doing today, I'm not taking side. I'm not, I'm not siding with the Synagogue Church of All Nations. If this church is not of God, then let me tell you, God himself will, will bring them down. Your life purpose is bigger than exposing evil. It's, so it's just like this. Like her husband, Prophet T.B. Joshua, is dead and gone. You were talking about him, he's dead. Now you continue with his wife. If the wife dies, you are going to continue with his children. No, you're bigger than that. Your life purpose is bigger than that. <laughs>
it because everyone who came to TB Joshua, like they they got to know her. So if there's any call and if there's anything, they will always call her. And she knew a lot. She knew a lot. And she knew a lot of people who were relating with TB Joshua at that time. So like I said, I like your audacity. I like your confidence. I like your courage. Because uh, you began to drop these videos even while Prophet TB Joshua was still alive. You began to talk. You began to challenge him. You wrote some books. Among others, I think you wrote um, um, the TB Joshua I Know. Deception of the Age on Mass. That was as far back as 2017. Then the TB Joshua I Know, my memoir of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. That was 2018. Reasons why you should not visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations. That was 2019. And then on Christ the Rock, we are above all satanic powers, 2020. And this book are among others because there are other books you wrote. So I want to say that you are a true purposeful woman. I like your courage. I like your audacity. But I began to watch with dismay the direction of her videos, the kind of topics you talk about. I like to say that it is okay. It is okay to come out of, you know, a cult. It is okay to come out of a secret society, like you said. It is okay to come out of that kind of atmosphere and you will want to expose the man behind everything. You want to expose TB Joshua. But for God's sake, this, this has been five, six years. This has been over six years that you left Synagogue Church of All Nations. You began to expose TB Joshua when he was still alive. You wrote books to expose him. You mentioned a lot of things that he does. Now that man is dead and gone. Six years later, six good years later. That's a long time, Bisola. No, that's a long time. I think that you're going too far with this. Because let me tell you something, if it is this God that I serve, who called you? Because I saw that you have evangelists attached to your name. Yes, you have evangelists attached to your name. Because the Bible says that um, he, called, he, calls, he called us, he gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, some to be teachers, you know, uh, some to be prophets for the, for the edification of the church. So if God actually called you and you, you, he called you to be an evangelist, then I'd like you to know that your life purpose is bigger than exposing TB Joshua. No. Your life purpose is bigger than exposing TB Joshua. So, Evangelist Bisola, I pick up this camera to just talk to you. Sister to sister. Sister in the kingdom and then sister in purpose. Your life purpose is bigger than talking about one man. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Far bigger than talking about one man. Except if this thing you're talking about, is this exposing TB Joshua you're talking about, is giving you a form of publicity. Which I think, in my opinion, it has you have gained a lot of publicity by exposing Prophet TB Joshua. But at this point, if you're really passionate about purpose, if you're really passionate about what God called you to do, then I think you should drop this matter. I think you should drop this issue. It's, it's okay to grant interviews every once in a while, here and there, you know, here and there, just drop these videos and talk about especially especially if you're called for an interview you can talk about it but i think that your your videos from at this point this is 2024 your videos at this point should not be on exposing tv joshua at this point you should not be looking for all disciples to interview at this point you should not be looking for people you know who have been it's not it's not your business you have done your part you have done your part. If really synagogue church of all nations is not of God, God himself will bring it down. Because of recent, I've seen, um, I've seen prophecies here and there. I've seen, I, I saw a woman of recent who began to give a prophecy of how, you know, that what happened in 2016, that is still going to happen, like the collapse of the church, that is still going to happen again. If that place is not of God, God himself will fight this battle. God himself will fight them. But you cannot spend your entire time entire lifetime talking about tb joshua in my opinion i think it is not in my opinion i think you're bigger than that in my opinion i think that god will not call you to do that yes i think god will not call you to do that so um if you're going to watch this video soon i want to advise that you go back to your drawing board and ask god what did you call me to do what did you call me to do if 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 he if if talking about tv joshua is actually what you have been doing then i think you have done enough you have been doing since you left that place i think you have done enough 
at this point ask God what do you want me to do um, my my vision is bigger than this Lord give me direction I know that yes you do things here and there I've seen you written books outside of TV Joshua I've seen you you know um, talk as, as an activist you know on social media here and there but that is not enough leave prophet tb joshua alone is dead and gone leave his wife alone leave her to god leave every other person in the... see let me tell you something you see this thing you're doing it simply shows that you still have an attachment with that place Probably maybe the spirit that was controlling you in that place is still is still there, is still haunting you. But if you really want to fulfill God's purpose as a woman, please let go that issue and focus on bigger things. I love you. If you're watching this, Bisola Hevziba Johnson, I love you. Take care of yourself. I'm praying for you. God will help you to live out your purpose to the glory and to the praise of his name. Take care. Bye-bye.